If it's love, I want that. What's good, GATV? It's your boy gravitating away, and I got a good one. Now, I'm not a fan of defunding the police, and if you're in the same communities that I'm in, you've seen enough where the first responders are the police. I'm sorry, because there's been enough detriment going on where you have to prove to me that black people know how to police themselves. Prove that shit to me. Because you can't right now in this day and age. But there are instances where the police defund themselves. Like you're about to see right now. We're going to react to this family winning a $8.25 million judgment in their favor. Favor for being humiliated. For being disrespected. For being um, discriminated against just for sitting in a vehicle after a long drive. Now, I'm not gonna give you too much details. I'm gonna play the video and let it do its thing, but check me out. If you ever find yourself in this situation, in the back of your head, if you play it the way you're supposed to, sometimes things works in your favor. And in this family's case, oof, they had a lot of blessings. Let's go. I'm not we committed. I'm not Rights violated. Now at five, a mother and her two daughters in disbelief when they were unlawfully searched and handcuffed by Alameda County Sheriff's deputies. A federal jury reaching that conclusion and awarding them more than $8 million. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Maybach. The incident unfolded in 2019. New at five, KTVU's Brooks Jaros joins us with the body cam video that shows how it all went down. Brooks? Well, that verdict was just reached last week in a trial that alleged false arrest, invasion of privacy, and violations of constitutional rights. The women say they feel they were stopped and searched because of the color of their skin. Car full of women, too. What are you guys doing here? Uh, way to go to Starbucks in a second. Why? No, we have, is there a problem? We can't, well, can't so, sit here. Well, actually, let me tell you why I'm here, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. I've been having auto break-ins in this parking lot every okay. morning around this time. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, man, if you ever was just minding your business, really not doing anything wrong, and you, you, you just get pulled up on by the police, man, they love to substantiate them bothering you with some other element going on. In their case, this woman and her daughters, yeah, we've had some break-ins. Now, I'm not saying uh, uh, women don't participate in that, but if I was to follow the statistics... Man, I'm not bringing up about break-ins, a mother and two daughters in a vehicle. So, homeboy, you already know what, he, what time he on. Sally Loggervale and her two daughters were sitting in a rented Cadillac outside this Castro Valley Starbucks when Alameda County Sheriff's deputies, concerned about car burglaries, zeroed in on them, demanding the mom's ID. What's that about? What did I do? What kind of crime did I commit? The deputy doesn't answer, so she refuses. You have to give me your ID. Why do I have to give you my ID? Why? I don't have to give you my ID because I haven't did anything. Facts. Logger Bale's attorney says it's the first violation of her constitutional rights. And it's a violation because I, I like to tell, especially brothers, man, like, if it's not too much, you give them the ID and go on your way. Because we know and have seen these things go left. Give the ID, go your way. I, it's been plenty of times I know I didn't have to give the ID, but I'm not trying to go back and forth with this dude. Most of the times I feel good that, you know, he gets to uh, get his butt hurt. He comes back hoping I had a warrant, whatever. He see it's clean. I give him a, a slick smile, send him on his way. I go on my way, the day's over. But in this woman's case, you come to me talking about car break-ins. I'm with my children. It's clear that I'm not breaking into any vehicle. I'm not giving you shit. And trust me, I'm not one of these dudes that like to cry about racism or none of that. This woman technically has a great case. Sorry. They can ask. They can always ask. But you don't have to give it to them. And they can only demand it if they have reasonable suspicion to believe that you committed crime. They don't want to listen okay. to us, so let's go ahead and okay. detain these two. But then things escalate. Get out of the car. All three are put in handcuffs. You're being detained. For what? Put your hand behind your back or you're going to go to jail. No, I'm not going to jail. 
and for more than an hour held in the back of a police cruiser. Ridiculous. <laughs> That's degrading, y'all. I just told them I have to use the restroom. <laughs> That's just the degrading. The car and all of their belongings was searched without their consent, finding nothing to suggest any crimes, and prompting a civil lawsuit alleging they were unlawfully stopped and searched, falsely arrested, and their privacy invaded because they're black. If not consciously, subconsciously, there was something going on yeah. that made them unreasonably suspicious of this family. Fact. That had, and I, you know, and I think if this same scenario happened and these were white women, I, I think it all plays out very differently. A lawyer called it out, man. Ain't no um, European queen, <laughs> if ever there were, but ain't no white woman with her white daughters getting treated like that. And again, I'm not somebody that plays with that race car because there's too much more serious situations that happen for me to disingenuously or lazily use that card to be an excuse maker. In this case, I would like you to prove to me that this wasn't had nothing to do with the woman being black. I would like somebody to prove that to me because you can't. And at the very least, the cop was butt hurt because he wanted to get his way with the lady. This is a, a clear case of viol uh, constitutional rights being violated from, from forcing the woman to be placed in cuffs because she refused to show her ID where there were no crime being committed, then illegally searching their possessions. I mean, this is why I say, man, I don't necessarily need to worry about defund the police because these motherfuckers do a good job at it of themselves, man. Federal jury agreed, deliberating for two days and returning an $8.25 million verdict. The Loggervale's Amen. lawyer says the sheriff's office did an internal affairs investigation that said the two deputies did nothing wrong <laughs> and both have sinned. Y'all surprised by that? When they investigate themselves and uh, nothing was found to be wrong? I mean, been promoted <laughs> what are you detaining us for <laughs> that shit is degrading y'all you're searching through our items without permission to some extent for the rest of their life every time they see police officers every time they're in a starbucks parking lot there's they're they're going to remember this this is a large payout for a case that did not deal with excessive force. Neither the Alameda County Sheriff's Office nor the attorney representing the county responded to our requests for comment. All right, so check me out. What makes it unprecedented is you've never seen this amount of money for a case that's involving a pedestrian, victim, civilian, whatever, and a police officer it's because usually this type of money goes out to like the George Floyds of the world situations where there's, you know, um, physical assault involved, etc. But it was so egregious when it comes to constitutional rights, all the check marks of what they did wrong. Mind you, they police themselves and nothing was found to be wrong. So we do have a problem when it comes to matters like that. Overall, I'm not in the fan club of defund the police because, hey, I've been in the mix of things, man. I've seen what happens in certain communities, specifically my community. And let me tell you, man, for all the assholes that are working on the force, there's some good brothers and sisters on the force that do their job. So I don't like putting it on the entire precinct, but I will say this, there's a police culture where even if you're a black cop, white cop, Asian cop, Spanish cop, they protect blue first. They protect blue first, and it shouldn't be that way. You should protect, protect constitutional rights and do your job the way you were trained to do so. But 8.5, 8.25 million dollar lawsuit. And it, it got in the favor of that nice woman and her children. If you don't know the backstory, they drove nine hours to go to Berkeley where the oldest daughter had a, a statistics exam. And what happened is they were so tired, they just parked in front of Starbucks because they figured it's a safe place to rest for a little bit. But what did the officer do? He didn't ask any background story. He just initially substantiated him stopping them because we've had recent break-ins. 
that motherfucker wouldn't dare have told a white woman that shit with her daughters. It would have been nothing but Mickey Mouse smiles going around. And he would have been on his way. Probably not even a bother or approach said woman. But nonetheless, I'm telling y'all, stop with this defund the police shit. Because they do a good job defunding themselves. And Lord knows I wish I was in that situation, man. I would have amped it up for the cameras. Make sure I stay cordial. Because I would, man, I would love a lawsuit like that. Now, with her, with the uh, newsman saying, or rather the lawyer saying, oh, uh, They'll never trust the police again. All I got to say to that is, if you haven't had yours yet, all you motherfuckers gonna get y'all nigga wake up calls. We get it one way or another, but we're human beings in the end. And as human beings, I understood why she was, you know, in tears and all. It's humiliating. It's degrading. But look, man, for for whatever it's worth. You got yours in the end. But me personally, why I do just comply and I don't try to deal with all that. Because look, that happened in 2019. Homegirl didn't get that money until uh, now, 2023. Wow, yeah, that's that's in the optics of it. It seems like it was worth the wait. But what if you had a job and a charge like that comes and screws you over? Now, even trying to get another job, you just screwed over. I just don't know if I have the patience to worry about all that so i just keep it moving but to each his own and i'm happy for the sister there you go a quick caveat those two officers that approach uh the lady and her daughters on the scene they got a promotion so yeah i'll be a fool if i if, if i would say there's no issue with police culture but hey man keep letting them fuck up like that where lives are not at risk and my people can keep getting their money man so it is what it is uh gravitating away man like share comment subscribe do me a favor y'all hit that notification bell and for whatever reason i be seeing y'all comments uh through the uh youtube studios but on under the actual videos i never see uh most of the comments that are being pushed out there and i've did my work on the settings and all that all my comments are allowed so i don't know what's going on with youtube i always hear people talking about youtube hating this and that i don't know but just work with your boy. Hit the notification bell. Uh, subscribe because I really do this, man. I'm here. And if you really fuck with me like that, man, it don't do you much. Fuck the like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. Help build my shit because I'm here for y'all. And trust me, on the outside, I ain't one of these YouTube content creators that's just coming on here for money. I don't make zero dollars from this. I'm talking about my outside work and what I do with the children. This helps with elevating one day. Maybe I get to the point and I can push what I do outside of here. It's your boy GA, man. Rock with me.